There is a battle brewing, it's a royal battle brewing over in the UK. Prince Harry has come out hard against the British tabloids, accusing them of bullying his wife and comparing it to the way his mother, Princess Diana, was treated. So Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is also suing the newspaper Mail on Sunday for publishing a private letter. Had sent to her strange father Thomas Markle. So I'm, I'm obviously everyone in the audience has been following this. What do we think of this? Good for them. Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> I think it's important to note that it is Harry because we all know that he lost his mother to a very overzealous paparazzi. And so we, we have a soft spot, I think, collectively a soft spot for him because to lose your mother at the hands of a raging out of control, I don't know if you can even use the word press, they were like uh, hunters, I felt like. Um, and so he's in a unique position. And he also was very clear in his statement when he wrote this letter that he was not trying to vilify the legitimate journalists and press who he says are integral, not only to a democracy, but he's like, now more than ever, we need a free press. So I like that he said that because he was very specifically targeting tabloid press who are like literally making up silly stories and now that he's not only married but he is a son I don't know when you become a parent there is an instinct that comes out of you that's like anyone you think you're gonna hurt my kid I will, I will make sure that never happens so I think what he's doing is this is not only like I'm gonna sue you this is a warning shot to all the other tabloid magazines, go ahead and try. I will sue you. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, I'm not. I'm not a huge royal watcher, but I really do like these two a lot. I think they're so empathetic, and it's been tough for them. And I, I think my heart breaks. I think about Megan and what she has to think about, that she could be sold out by her own family, yeah. that her father or her sister would sell a letter or tape a conversation or whatever they do and sell her out. Like That has got to be so, so heavy that my heart breaks. Mm -hmm. And they're not easy on Megan. They haven't been easy on Megan mm -hmm. at all. At all. No. They're extra. They're yeah. Extra, yeah, they're hard. extra, extra. I think that's what it is. I think that it's fair um, for the British tabloids. And to be clear, the British tabloids in this case are not the, news, the supermarket rags that we have here. Over there, it's the newspapers. Like you, they're, you know, on the paper that makes your fingers dirty and they come out, <laughs> they come out every day. Um, they're talking about those kinds of papers. So it's not actually these magazines that we're used to over here in North America. People take the news that's in these tabloids, these newspapers, very seriously in the UK. So it drives public opinion, and that's why it can be so damaging. And I think what I, I want to say about this is I think it's fair to criticize royals, and newspapers should. Their spending, um, whether or not they're being hypocritical, and Meghan and Harry were criticizing criticized all summer for what some people consider to be environmental hypocrisy, especially after they said climate change, care about it, and then flew on several private flights. I think a couple of articles about that is fair. The problem is the imbalance of articles and opinion pieces that appeared in these UK newspapers. So for every 25 shouty opinion pieces attacking Meghan and Harold, Her Harold, Harry, <laughs> there was not one opinion piece in the Daily Mail by someone, say, Pierce Morgan, who is constantly blowing his top off about Meghan, about another royal, Prince Andrew. Have you heard the story about Prince Andrew? <laughs> so Prince Andrew was friends with a man named Jeffrey Epstein, who was being investigated for pedophilia and sex trafficking and died in federal custody while under investigation. And they were very close friends. Prince Andrew stayed at the man's home, several homes. And yet, where are the opinion pieces from the Daily Mail about Prince Andrew? <laughs> that is what... what we're bumping up against. I wish people would just stop reading Pierce Morgan. He is out there to troll everybody. He does it so intentionally. And then in that article that he writes about, he's what he, he's really mad about is not only the hypocrisy, what he sees as the hypocrisy of these two in particular, that they're going around on flights, they're hanging around with celebrities. He was very upset about Harry's response. And he feels like it was over the top as a royal to be so emphatically like crushed by the fact that there's a public interest in these letters that have this correspondence in the drama that 
is going on between Megan and her father. And I mean, I just think like that is so, like wh why wouldn't he, to your point, why wouldn't he be interested in defending his wife? I mean, and I, I'm the person who is the least royalist on here, but I feel like, you know what, like, to all things being fair, Pierce needs to just shut up. Yeah! <laughs>